Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Kill Confirm. This is based off the Call of Duty minigame, and it's a really, really fun minigame where one team has to try to kill the other, and once they get a kill, they have to pick up the dog tag that the enemy leaves behind. So the one with the most dog tags, or in Minecraft, it's wool, wins the game. So you can change the settings for the amount of kill confirms needed to win the game in the config file. You can also add new classes in to the class system that they have with this plugin. So yeah. The players can choose their own class just like in Call of Duty and I'm sure all of your players on your server will love this minigame. The first thing that we're going to do once you come to the link in the description is click download and then we're going to click download again. So after hitting keep we're going to drag this into our plugins folder and start up our server. Make sure you get any permissions from the plugin page that you need. So once we're ready, so once you're ready we're going to go ahead onto our server. So like I said, in the config file, you can change the settings for the amount of kills needed to win the game, and you can also change the settings for the classes. So like I said, well the rest of the settings are pretty self-explanatory, I'm sure you understand it. If you don't, just ask a question in the comments. But right here for the classes, if you want to add a new class besides the default one, you can go ahead and hit enter, backspace all the way, and then just space up and line up with the word default. And then this is where you type the name of the new class. So you can type something like warrior, soldier, whatever you want to type. And then you just go ahead and fill in the rest with name, items, and lore. So back onto the server, what you'll need is a main lobby. The main lobby will have all the join signs for all of your arenas. And you're going to also need your first arena and the lobby for that arena itself. So I've indicated where the red spawn will be with red wool and the blue spawn will be with blue wool. But you don't have to do that. And keep in mind that you don't have to have your lobby floating in the air above the arena. It can be anywhere you want. So once you're ready, we're just going to go ahead and type slash KC create arena and then give this arena a name. So I'm just going to call mine test. And once you're done with that, we're going to set the lobby spawn. So go in your lobby for your arena, not the main lobby. Stand anywhere you want. And then type slash KC set lobby. And then type the name of the arena that we just created. So I'm going to type test. Now we're going to set the spawn for the blue team. So anywhere where you want your blue team to spawn at, go to that point and stand on it and type slash KC set spawn your arena name and then one. Now we're going to fly over to the red side where we want our red team to spawn at. We're going to stand on it and we're going to type the same command except at the end we're going to type two instead of one and then hit enter. And then there we go. So now we can set our main lobby. Where is that thing? Alright, so just stand where your main lobby is, basically in the center. And then type the command slash KC set main lobby. And then we are basically done with the commands now. I'm going to show you how to create the join sign. So you're going to want to place this join sign inside of your main lobby anywhere you want. And on the first line you're going to type kill confirm. And on the third line you're going to type your arena name. So test and then there we go. It's easy as that. If you did like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Alright peace out guys.